Today, we're talking about the Spitfire Audio Labs Classic Synths, and we'll get to it all after this introduction. Welcome, everybody. I'm Dan Spencer, and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So if you are looking to approve upon any of those skills, get the latest product reviews, and also learn about music business, then you have come to the right place. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So in today's video, we are talking about the Spitfire Audio Labs Classic Synths, which is a free library for the Lab Series. Now, I'm not sure if Oliver Patrice Weeder created this library or not, but his name is listed here for this demo called Lunar Eclipse that he made. So I will say out of all the libraries I have from Spitfire Audio, the Pool Project is one of my favorite ones, and that was created by Oliver. And I have a link popping up in the top right corner to a review and tutorial on it. So definitely check it out after this video. So back to the classic synths. These are vintage synths and they model Things like the Moog Mini Moog, the Arp Quattro, the Sequential Pro One, and the Roland Juno 60, which are all famous pieces of hardware. Now this synth will sound good on pretty much any genre you wanna use it on. If you're creating like modern day 80s stuff, it will sound really good on that, but it works for everything. So in this video, what I did was I created a small little instrumental piece using six presets from this library. And it should give you a good idea of what this plugin can do and if it's something that you want to take the time to download or not. So that's what we're gonna do. But first, I actually want to go over the user interface for anybody who is not familiar with the Labs plugin. All right, so let's get to that first. All right, so here we are in Pro Tools and I have the Spitfire Audio Labs plugin open. So the first thing we need to do is actually go to our classic synths library. And to access the libraries, we want to click in this gray section here in the middle. And you'll see that I have several libraries installed. So you wanna scroll down to classic synths, and then you need to select any one of these presets here and then hit load. And that's gonna be your starting point. So when you're in the plugin here, this fader here on the left, this green one here, this is your volume fader. Leave this at 100% all the time, and it'll be good to go. Now the red one next to it, this kind of changes depending on what preset you select. I know for one of the presets, when I crank it all the way up, I get a lot more bass in the sound, and then when I turn it down, it becomes a little bit more thin and clear. So, you know, after you select your preset, just play with this fader and get it to your liking. Now over here, if you click this middle button, this gives you access to the filter, your FX, and then the reverb. So the filter, again, also kind of changes depending on what preset you have. So just dial that into your liking. And then for the reverb, of course, that's the space we're gonna put the sound in. You have five different options, which are located here at the top where it says reverb. So I currently have an evolution, but if you click this, you'll see these are the different types that you can select from, okay? So that really is pretty much everything you need to know on how to use this plugin. So let's get to the exciting part of this video and let's listen to the little instrumental piece that I wrote.
All right, so that was my little piece that I wrote. And I should mention that I did no mixing of the tracks short of just volume leveling, okay? So you got to hear what these presets sound like out of the box. And if I have to say, they sound pretty darn good. Imagine these in a larger production with drums, guitars, and all that stuff. They're gonna sound pretty good, all right? So I'm very happy with this library. So let me know in the comments below what you think of it, all right? So if you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. And if you enjoyed this content, check out my review slash tutorial on the Spitfire Audio's Intimate Grand Piano. And with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.